Okay, so complex numbers. All right, we all know that there's going to be an I in these because we remember from algebra two. All right, so the fact that complex numbers involve an imaginary part. So imaginary numbers involve having an I in the number. Okay, probably the two main things that you need to remember involving the I is that a square root of a negative one, and we're just gonna use one so we don't have other numbers to mess with, a square root of a negative is going to give you an I. So anytime I need to get a negative number out from underneath a radical, I can, in essence, do a little bit of factoring under there, pull out under the square root of negative one, and then I know that's gonna pull out an I. The other important thing is I squared is equal to negative one, which makes sense because they're inverse operations. Okay, so if you are doing arithmetic and you come up with an I squared, you're gonna replace that with a negative one. Okay, now standard form. Especially in math Excel, all right, but just in general, you should write your answer in standard form. A plus BI, all right? They like all answers to complex number problems in standard form. The A part right here is just a real number. So it's gonna be something like 10 or 24 or 36 or three fourths. All right, this part over here, since that part has the I, that's the imaginary part of it. So when you put the two together, then you have a complex number, okay? So this would be a complex number because it's got both parts in it. All right, now we're gonna first just start with, can we add, subtract, multiply these type of numbers? So basic arithmetic, okay? So if I had something like a five minus a seven I, write it kind of like a binomial there, and we're gonna add to that an eight plus four I. They're going to have you practice adding and multiplying these sort of things. Okay, so it's not it's nothing more than adding and subtracting like terms. Put these two things together. Those are real numbers. You can add 8 and 5 and get 13. Okay, so you're going to put those two together. All right, and then take your imaginary numbers, put those together, negative 7 and 4, negative 3. So then minus 3i. And then look, is it in standard form? It's in standard form, so then you're done. So it's almost the same as just adding and subtracting like terms, things that go together. Okay, I could also distribute. If I had a number on the outside, I could have something like a 4i on the outside and then maybe a 2 minus 6i. I can multiply these things. Under normal circumstances, I would take what's on the outside and multiply it by everything on the inside. I would, in other words, I would distribute that. So when you multiply these things, you can multiply like normal. 4 times 2 is 8 put the I in down with it. So that's gonna be an eight I. Okay, the minus sign is gonna come down. Multiply the coefficients in front, four times six is 24. And then you've got the I's, I times I, I squared, so 24 I squared. All right, and then this is where you don't wanna leave your answer because you know that I squared is a negative one. Okay, this right here is a negative one. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna show the step here. Eight I minus 24 times a negative one. Well, two negatives make positive, okay? So then, now, if I, you guys should be good enough to do this. I want this in standard form, right? So go ahead and put the positive 24 first, okay? So that'd be a 24 and then a plus eight I. Switch it around, put it in that standard form, save a little, little part right there. Let's go ahead and do one.